guys, it's Jazzy, and I'm here with the one and only Miss Thames. I will wait for you. I will wait for you. Miss Thames, how are you doing today? I'm good. Nice to meet you, Jazzy. Nice to meet you as well. Alrighty, so welcome to New York. Thank you. Thank no you. No problem. Um, actually, I was just in London a couple weeks back, and I saw so many cool things like the Big Ben. I saw Buckingham Palace as well, mm -hmm. and I also linked up with the Mondom. <laughs> Which leads to my first question. You like tea, right? I do, yeah. So I am interviewed Giggs and he told me, so I asked him if he drinks tea in the morning. He said that the Mondom don't drink tea. Oh, shit. <laughs> so do you drink tea in the morning? Nah, the Mondom don't drink tea. The Mondom don't drink tea. The Mondom don't drink tea. So, you know, I figured that I would ask you why is the tea thing so important in British culture because you're such an avid tea lover, so I want to know. Oh, well, I'm, I'm a tea uh, lover, but I'm not the British tea lover. I do um, my own teas. I mix my own teas. I don't drink, I don't drink English tea. All right, well, then I'll, I'll ask someone that drinks British tea then. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great to know, though, but that's really cool. Thank you, thank you. I'll send you some tea sometime. All right, yeah, I'd like to try that. <laughs> so your family's from Nigerian and British roots. You lived in both places during your life. So how has your rich cultural background and diverse living experiences helped mold you as a musician? I think where you live molds you as a person, like period. Whether you're a musician or you're an act actor or you're an artist, I think where you live shapes what you think and shapes your mind. And um, I think living in Lagos definitely shaped my sense of uh, determination and motivation to keep on going and to keep on trying and striving. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's really cool that you've been a that you have like both those fusions. Well, I mostly grew up in Nigeria, so I'm mostly Nigerian. Um, I'm only British uh, on paper, <laughs> um, but I'm really Nigerian. Um, so. Most of that is just from like music I listened to when I was a kid. Right, and that's really cool. So apart from singing and songwriting, you're also a producer. Mm -hmm. So how did you begin to explore producing music, and how did that help you during your success? Um, well, no one wanted to produce for me <laughs> back then, and so I said, you know what, I can do this myself. So I was like, yeah, and then it made me create my sound. Yeah. I think that's really cool and also you're not just a singer, you're not just a songwriter, you're also a producer mm -hmm. and I think that's really cool how you've been able to just say hey like no one else is producing my stuff so I might as well just do it myself. Yeah exactly. If no one will do it for you, you do it yourself. You heard it guys from Miss Thames. Can you please share some words of motivation to everyone watching my show? Well to everyone watching this show I just want to tell you to keep going because you are beautiful and your destiny is waiting for you so get out there get off your butt and um, go do your thing. Thank you so much for well, you guys you heard it from Miss Thames herself and until next time Jazz and out.